We built SAP Business Objects Explorer, and now with BWA, with the idea that information access was like internet access was in the 1980s. The experts were looking at performance issues and better ways to access information. In the 90s, a couple of key things came along. One is obviously Netscape with an intuitive interface for getting to the web, and two other changes. One is Google that organizes the web for us to make it possible to get to any information that we want. And finally, infrastructure and broadband, so everybody can be connected all the time. That's a good metaphor for SAP Business Objects Explorer as well. Nowadays, the world has changed based on the Internet. When I have a question in the non-enterprise world, such as wanting to know where's the closest restaurant or read a review on a new car, I just go online and I type in some keywords and I get information. We wanted exactly the same enterprise experience with SAP Business Objects, accelerated version for NetWeaver BW. The idea that we started off with is, I'm sitting in a meeting, or it can be an email or a phone call, and a question comes up that I need to answer. Today, what people are doing is they're guessing, right? They don't have the information at their fingertips. What we want is for people to come to Explorer, and here you can see the interface for Explorer, and literally be able to just go in and type some keywords. So let's take the example that we're having a discussion and we want to look at sales in 2007. I can come in here and in this very Google-like interface do a search. What is happening here is similar to Google. Google searches across the whole internet. In my scenario, SAP Business Objects Explorer is looking across all the organization's data that's been indexed in BWA and instantly bringing back the most relevant info cubes of information coming from heterogeneous sources. In this case, we can see that the number one hit was a set called Standard Demo. It has found information about sales, figures, and measures. It's also found 2007, and it's scored it quite highly. So just like Google, I'll go ahead and click on this number one hit to explore it in a little bit more detail. What we see here is the exploration interface of Explorer. I want to point out a few different things. First of all, we have just opened up information aggregated from over 300 million records of data in under two seconds, thanks to the accelerated version of NetWeaver BW. It gives you access to huge amounts of data and you're no longer limited by performance. The second thing is the intuitive, t intuitiveness of this interface. The first thing that happened is Explorer has automatically selected target invoice sales because I typed in sales as a keyword. In fact, in this example, Explorer got it wrong. I didn't want target sales. I wanted actuals. I wanted real invoice sales, and I wanted it in U.S. dollars. So I just go ahead and select that. When I change the measure, all 300 plus million records are re-aggregated and recalculated in less than two seconds. If you use Amazon.com or eBay to search for something, you can say, okay, I want this particular author or I want this particular genre, I want electronics or CDs or whatnot. Explorer is just like that. It brings to the forefront the most relevant information. In this case, it's Europe in 2007. So I just go ahead and point and click to select that as the piece of information that I want to work with. Now I've selected 2007 and down below I can see information for Europe and Central Europe. I go ahead and either I can select Europe up top or I can select Europe and Central Europe. The point is I started with a couple of keywords and with just a couple of clicks, I have my answer. Sales, invoice sales in 2007 across Europe was about $3.36 billion. That's where the power is. I'm sitting in a meeting, and this would have been much faster if I wasn't talking. But within seconds, I can jump and get an answer to my question. Even if you don't know where the data is, even if you don't know how it's structured, even if you don't know how to use powerful reporting or analytics tools, you are able to do this. We think this is really quite significant in terms of people's ability to get information. Now, there's a second workflow I want to focus on as well. 
The first workflow is really about what we refer to as fast facts. I have a question and I want to have it answered. There is a second workflow that our target users have, and that's really about investigation exploration. I'm responsible for sales in Europe, and I want to understand them better. I want to look at that region's information, and I want to look at it in different ways. I want to explore it. I want to see if there are issues I need to deal with. In today's world, most of us need to figure out which issues to deal with because we get a critical email or a phone call or a voicemail message that something bad happened. With Explorer, we're able to, view, to do that to view the data quickly. In this case, I'm looking at sales in Europe for 2007. SAP Business Objects Explorer determines what the most relevant information is. We can see there is a number of different subcategories of food that we sell in this region. The premium does very well and so on. Now, I can ask Explorer some questions. A natural question might be, premium does well, but what percentage of my total sales in Europe were contributed by the premium product? I can do that by clicking on a pie chart. Instantly, across 300 million rows, I get my answer, about 11%. I can go from one question to another very easily and have a better understanding of my area's business. You'll notice that everything is just one click away in Explorer. If you've ever tried to create a tree map in Excel or any kind of chart, but especially a tree map, you'll know that it's very difficult to do. You need to know how to set up your members and dimensions, what axes these go on, and so on. The reality is that most users don't use it. Most spreadsheet axes do not contain these things because they're complex, they're hard to get to. If we think about what actually helps people to understand information, and the reason that most magazines and newspapers and blogs even include visuals, is that is how people understand. In Explorer, we've automated that. We've made it so you could understand the information that you're working with, even if it's a billion rows, and quickly see something like, premium sales make up the majority of the sales in my region. Similarly, I can go and add a second dimension. Maybe I want to see invoice sales versus target sales. I go ahead and select that. Now, I've actually got a huge map type of a chart, again automated, based on two measures I've selected. The point here is, with a single click, I can look at my information in a number of different ways. If, for example, I didn't want to look at subcategories and I wanted to look at countries throughout Europe, I can go ahead and do that. For example, I can see there is some bad data where we don't have countries defined. I can go back to my IT guys and say, we need to track this better because I have all this data that doesn't make any sense. I can discover these things and have it corrected. I'm not going to go into all of the features. I think that the core message here is really two things. I'm able to get quick access to a question when I need it, and I can better understand my business. I can look at my business in a number of different ways. Lastly, there are two things that I want to point out. One is the idea that I can come back to this view, and I can email it to somebody, I can bookmark this view, and I can export this view to a CSV file. I can export the image and take my findings into PowerPoint or wherever I'd like. That's very important for a business user. It's very simple, just one click away. Finally, when we started to design Explorer, we heard from customers or from an IT perspective that zero training is an absolute must. If we want to deploy something that's easy to use, can access huge amounts of data to a large group of users, we simply do not have the time and resources to train 10,000 people. In today's economy, this is very true. So one of the things on which we depend is the ease of use of this product. We tried to keep it simple. We tried to keep it zero training. And we've also introduced the concept of very searchable, intuitive video tutorials. So what you can do with Explorer is say, I don't know how to search. 
So I'm going to go ahead and say, how do I search? And look for that. There's a video tutorial explaining this to you. There's about nine video tutorials that are about 30 seconds long. So it's very easy for end users to quickly learn how to use this product. This ends the overview demonstration of SAP Business Objects Explorer.